All right, now we want to work on the uh, part two of this video on mechanical drawing, and it has to do with the solution to the second question of this uh, this uh, particular uh, question. Um, we are answering question B, so which says that we are to draw the plan showing all hidden details we have to draw the plan showing all hidden details so as i've said before that what you just need to do is to replicate what we have here which i've done so i've replicated the plan though is not complete yet because of what i want to put here so now what we are going to do is that when we are looking at this object as an assembly uh, we have assembled it so we have put don't forget that we have put in the front in the uh, sectional front elevation uh, 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 on plane AA we have inserted part two in part one here and we have also put this part three here and then this part four has been inserted here as we have it here so this is the assembly so when we are looking at it from the top so what are we going to see in the plan and what will be hidden from us so in the plan when we are looking at it from the top we are going to see the top of this thing here and then we see the top of this is part four we see the top of part four so we see the top of part uh part two and then this part will be hidden from us in the plan likewise this part here on part three will be hidden from us we are going to have it here then we are going to see this thing so that's the purpose of projecting this line down here so that it, it can make my work easy and faster so what we are going to do now is that i'm going to start with this so i'm going to start with this part uh part four so i'm going to start with part four so what i just need to do is to project this line so i project this line down into the plan like this i project into the plan and also i project this into the plan all right so don't forget that this part uh part four is a square so we are going to see its square end in the plan here so and don't forget that um as we have here the side is is 10 the side is 10 so from here to here is 10 from here to here is 10 so i'll take what i will now do it from here now so from this center so i'll put my ruler here take five down then i will take five up then i can form the square now so look we are going to see it coming out now Alright, so I believe you can see this. So this is the square end of part four, which we see when we are looking at the assembly from the top. And then, so this is hidden from us. So this is circular. It is circular. So it is hidden from us. So we are going to put it here. So what I'm going to do is that, what I just need to do, uh, okay. So I'll just take my compass. I'll take up my compass as we have here that from here to here from here to here from here to here is 19 millimeters so 19 by 2 will give us 9.5 that is 9.5 so i will take a measurement of 9.5 millimeters take a measurement of 9.5 millimeters on my ruler so this is it so this is 9.5 then i will put it here so i put it here and then, as I said, that it's going to be hidden. When you are looking at it from the top, this part will be hidden from you. So we are going to use short dashes line to show that. 
So you just need to be So just take it easy. You don't have to rush it. So I'm doing it little by little. Do it little by little. Okay. It's coming out. All right, so that is it. So that is it. So we have done, we have done it. So the next thing that we are going to put here now, now, for this part, for this part, which is this, is already here. This is its circular surface that we see. It's already here. I've drawn that already. Which is also the same for this one. This one is not hidden from here to here. It's not hidden. It's also circular. And so the same diameter as this. So this circle represents this part two it represents part two that we have here now if you look at the plan of part two let me show you what look at the plan of part two you can see that when we put this thing inside look at this square that's what we have here and then this circular part that is hidden from a here you can see that we have it here this is the plan for part uh for part for part two so this is what we have there so you can see what i have here with this thing where we insert this thing inside because at this point we also have a square where we are looking at it from the top that's why we have what we have this square here which represents this part four so this is complete now so we are done with that so the next thing that we are going to do is to put this thing here whose part will be hidden from her so this is how we are going to do it as we know that for this part three for this part three this is 12 millimeters this is m12 12 millimeters that's what we have we have this to be 12 millimeters so what we are going to do is that we take our ruler so i take my ruler and then take a measurement of six millimeters down here so six millimeters down here okay let me take it here because this is where i need it so i take six millimeters here and then I'll take six millimeters here and I'll draw. So draw this line like this. And I will draw this line like this. Okay, now, so let's draw this. So as we know that it is 18 millimeters. So I just come here, take nine millimeters. So from here, I take nine millimeters. And then here also, um, I will take nine millimeters. All right, so we have this shape. So as I did when I produced this, so I will take my my French cuff to produce that uh, small cuff. Okay, so I produce the cough. Okay, and then I have to show this. So this is used to represent diamond knolling. 
this is used to represent diamond nulling. The purpose of putting this uh, this um, sign or this thing on it is for you to be able to turn the component, for you to be able to turn the component so that your uh, your hand will grip, be, will grip it very well. That's the purpose of putting it here. So if you don't know, so we call this, we call it diamond nulling. So we also have straight nulling. That one is just when we draw straight lines. So it's very, very important. Now, let's uh, show what we have here. So some things are hidden. Um, all right. So if you look at this, if you look at this, we have two lines here. Let me bring it up so that you can see it. We have one line in in in, uh, or in, 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 in it, and we have one line out uh, outside it. So the outer the outer one is twelve millimeters. So the inner one. How can we produce the inner one? This is what this is how I'm going to do it. This is what I'm going to say about it. Just take one millimeters. Take one millimeters inward. Take one millimeters inward. A millimeter as one millimeter not millimeters so take it inward like this so draw this line like this and then you draw this line use it okay so as we have here that this end, this pointed end on this screw is touching, is touching a uh, distance here. It is touching this thing. If I produce, let me produce this, uh, this thing down. Here is it. Okay. So as we have here, so this pointed end is touching this chain here. So I need to produce it. So what I'm going to do is that to produce it from this point, we know that it is six millimeters. As we have here, this time from year to year is six millimeters. So I just take 30 millimeters up and 30 millimeters down. So this is uh, 30 millimeters. It's 30 millimeters. And then, so, this is also 30 millimeters. So all this will be hidden from us. They will be hidden from us. So for me to show the hidden part of it, so I said in the question, I said in the question showing all hidden details. That's what the question says. So showing all hidden details. So the hidden, the hidden details are what I want to show now. So with short dashes line, so you produce this. All this will be hidden from us. When we are looking at the, up, the, uh, uh, the assembly of the object from the top, they be hidden from us. You cannot see them. So that's why we are using short dashes line to represent them. Okay, then we also do the same thing here. Okay, and then here, okay. All right, so this is it. So this is what we have so for question two so we have done we have answered the question for question two we have answered 
the question and this uh, question B serves as part two of this video to the mechanical drawing. So thank you for listening. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe so that you can learn more. So that you can learn more. I'm going to do more on mechanical drawing and also on building drawing. And when it comes to mechanical drawing, the questions varies. The question varies. So I'll try as much as possible to uh, work on maybe like five different questions. I think if I'm able to do five different questions, I'm able to watch the video and study it very well, you should be able to solve any problem that come your way under mechanical drawing. So share these videos with friends who are technical drawing or engineering drawing students. And like the channel. And if you have anything to say, anything to ask me, so put your comment and I will see it and reply you as soon as possible, as soon as I get it. So thank you very much. God bless you.